Okay, hello. Hello, everybody. Today I'm going to be painting, pouring some paint, and it should be fun. I'm using these spin drip pour paints from uh, Michaels. Um, they're from the brand Folkart, I think. Yeah. Folkart Drizzle. And tonight I have a acrylic pouring workshop for kids so I thought I would um, you know practice and, and do those <laughs> those techniques that I have never done before just well not that specific way just trying something new Good morning, Jamie. How are you today? Okay. Ooh, he's hot. Too hot. How are you doing today, Jamie? Okay, I have a... I think this is... 10 by 10 canvas. And I'm going to um, put some push pins make some feet for it. Let me just turn the music down a bit. Okay, your husband uh, just left for the week. Wow. Oh, you have a sick daughter. Oh, that sucks. Sorry to hear that, Jamie. Is it like cold or never fun never fun to have a sick child hmm. but we always put lol at the end of the uh, the sentence even if it's actually Coty right <laughs> Coty crying on the inside laugh out loud and cry on the inside or is it just me <laughs> They should start using Koti more often. Then we can normalize it. Okay, so this is actually a um, piece that I, I dripped. I really actually like this uh, texture. I have a few because my daughter and I did a whole bunch. It's got some purple in it. Yeah, the colors are really, really nice. I hope not to mess them up with this. <laughs> with this pores. I decided to get up and water my plants and they didn't need it. <laughs> uh, so now there's water everywhere. Well, at least she was trying to be useful, I guess. really rainy here in PA today. I don't know. I usually like the rain, but today I'm feeling kind of kind of rotten. I'm in a rotten mood today. <laughs> I'm so over it. Uh, I just want to take a nap to forget I'm alive. <laughs> tired. Just tired of all, on all fronts sometimes. She's supposed to be resting. Uh, it's been raining here all week, yeah. Gets, when it gets wet, it's like all mud outside and it's difficult to take out the dogs and it's... But you know, it's good sleeping weather. It's got that going for it. Haven't had a kids workshop in a long time. And uh, it was supposed to be a grown-up workshop, just like a sip and pour that I do every two weeks. And somebody called me. Actually, they called me last time while I was doing the live stream. <laughs> so, ugh, so I changed today to be for kids. 
it's all good. They have some other shapes too. Actually, one of them. I want to use this one. I really like this painting actually, but it just deserves to have like a something in the front, you know? It's beautiful patterns, the, the colors are really nice and harmonious, but I feel like it needs some object of attention, so I'll see, I'll see what I do. <laughs> the rain makes it hard to feel un energetic. But yeah. Maybe that's maybe that's the thing too. I'm generally energized by the rain, just in a in a weird way, you know. Kind of wallow in the in the melancholy. <laughs> but sometimes it's just tiresome. I feel kind of like I need another double espressos, another couple of double espressos. Ugh. Some of these frames are really difficult to put pins in. Are you doing anything artistic, Jamie? I haven't really been on Discord or part of the chats, unfortunately, and I feel kind of bad <laughs> about it. I was gonna post some progress photos of, um, of my dandelion wall. Did I? Yeah! I did, thank you. The uh, is a metal broad set. So one of those really cool fractals. I think I'll You guys have some new India inks. <laughs> Nothing planned for the day. Oh, now I kinda see a fish in here. Right? Do you see that fish? Right here is the mouth. It's an open mouth and the eye. And then like a... Maybe I won't pour over this one. Sometimes it takes a long time to see something. But yeah, this is cool. Let me show you what I did with the... The, uh, the spin drip... No, no. <laughs> with the smart art box, you know, because I got those marbling, uh, mar marbling paints and I did, I don't know if you can see the fish, it's kind of, you see there is the mouth and there is the eye and kind of, I tried to bring it out and to highlight it a little bit more but <clears throat> maybe I'll put, make the teeth white so that it's more visible. I feel like the mouth region needs more definition. Actually, everything pretty much needs more definition, but this is kind of what I did yesterday for a bit. India inks are fun. Hey, Queldar. Hey, how are you today? It's nice to not have plans. <laughs> Celebrated anniversary. Ah. <laughs> Thanks, Jamie. Maybe I won't pour over this one, okay? Maybe I'll just do this one. Although I kind of like this one, but I'm running out of out of canvases. <laughs> and I have so many good ones stored up that I have to sell and get rid of. Oh, so um, I'll just be pouring over this one. These are so easy to make and it's probably, I'm probably gonna do something very similar on this anyway, so. Just for the experience, you know, just for the therapeutic effect of the pouring sometimes. It's, you know, you don't spend money on, on an actual therapist, you just spend money on painting and pouring. Beats having to go out <laughs> and socializing. Socialize online. Love the colors on that one, which this one, the the purple and teal one, or the uh, orange one. I like this. I usually go for this colored palette when I pour a cosmic pour. And then I have, then I have this one that I was gonna 
pour over. This one's got silicone on it. The purple and the teal. <laughs> um, if I'm gonna pour over this one, I have to clean it a little bit because uh, the the silicone oil might not let the uh, the paint stick to the canvas, you know. So let me just wipe that up. I think all those cleaners will take some of it off. I usually go for alcohol. I don't have alcohol right in here with me. But hopefully this does it. I know it's neat too. <laughs> I know. I'm not that attached to it though. I mean, if you want it, I can send it to you, but they're pretty easy to make. I'll start with the other ones and you let me know if you want any of these. They're kind of plain, you know, I go for something a little more... a little more elaborate. Usually I do have a couple of empty ones, a couple of uh, blank canvases. Ah, here we go. So we don't have to sacrifice the other ones. I have one that is kind of beaten up. <laughs> Pretty old. Pretty old and beaten up. Almost torn. Um, obviously I did not take good care of it. And then I have this really lovely one that I got as a present from one of my students. At the end of the class, she gave everybody uh, canvases and a little palette knife. It was really sweet of her. So now I have a little 8x10 canvas. What are you up to today, Qualdar? How's the world? How's the weather on planet Qual? See if I have any more pins. Where did I put them? I think just enough. Smaller. Weather is nice. Good, you're just working on your illustration. Which one are you working on now? The same uh, Mary, um, the Mary one? That one, you posted it. It came out really beautiful. Mary Dimari. You saw the fish, but also saw two people looking down at something. Which one? In this one? In the, uh, in the marker ink? Hang on, come on, focus. Two men in this one or the other one, the poor? The red one, okay. Where is it? Okay, two men looking down at something. You'd have to be here and show it to me because once I see a thing, it's really difficult to see another thing. But yeah, there's so many stuff happen so much stuff happening turn it around like like this oh right it was this way <laughs> it was this way um i see some sort of figure there looking down um, right here something looking down i see like two eyes here and a mouth at the top you see two noses the top two noses right here it's very interesting to uh, there's a lot of little things that you can pick up uh, so many like um, interlocking shapes <laughs> and I see something looking down here there's so many eye looking uh, shapes the little cells that you can and our minds are so attuned to pick up face uh, features 
Maybe I'll send you the picture and you can draw on top of it. <laughs> what you see. Okay. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, now... Oh yes. I'm gonna do it on this one first. I'm gonna do something fun, fun, fun. I'm gonna pour in a tray and then I'm gonna pour the paint on it. I've seen this uh, this technique, just going around and never done it this particular way. I've poured in a tray in another uh, in another structure, you know, another way. I poured the paints in, and then it came out differently. But it's kind of like talking, an, yeah, an ink blood test, exactly. Okay, focus, focus, focus. So I have these paints. I want to make something very similar to this color. I'm also going to use white and black. I don't have white of this paint, so I'm just going to mix it with some pouring medium. So let me do that first. I'm going to mix some this Amsterdam paint. I'm not really <clears throat> picky with, uh, with brands of paints. I just like the creamier ones like in the tubes. So I'm just estimating the amount of paint. I'm gonna go for one part paint and two parts pouring medium. So this would be about an ounce of paint. And then, let me see. This is the first time I'm actually using this pouring medium. My paints have plaster on them. My paint uh, knives have plaster on them. Oh, I really hope it's good. Oh my gosh, what is this? Somebody gave it to me. <laughs> A friend gave this to me and uh, it smells okay. It smells like pouring medium. Let's see. I don't know. We'll find out. <laughs> what exactly is the pouring medium? It's a type of acrylic that is just really thin. No, it's um, it's a liquid. Uh, it's it's water based, but it's not acrylic. It's I think it's like a resin based um, medium, but it doesn't have any color in it, so it should it dries transparent. But it's just like a carrying substance. You know how you make acrylic paint and you mix um, pigments with uh, a carrying, you know, a medium to make it smooth. So this pretty much is the same thing, but it thins it out even more. Um, it doesn't say what it's made of, but. Uh, it's a liquid chemical <laughs> substance. <laughs> okay, this looks good. Looks good. G Max, hi. Now I'm stressing because I couldn't see the faces. It's like those pictures at the mall you have to stare at for 10 minutes to see something special. <laughs> and I never could see anything. <laughs> oh. Uh, you know, once I see something uh, and somebody else points, you know, I actually see something else. And then I really try to see the other thing, but unless that person is there to show me exactly what they see, I generally, mm, I generally don't see it. It's like those double images that it's either a pot or two faces looking at each other. Or like uh, you either see the negative or you see the object or you see the old woman or the young woman. I think it's very similar to that. Okay, I have white and um, I've used a lot of this black so I'm going to make some black as well out of these paints 
the, the black is the emptiest. <laughs> How are you doing, G Mags? I'm running out of black. Really, I should buy the black by the gallon, as it's the color that I use the most. It's my go-to background. I find it mu much easier, very easy to start with a black background and then add all the lights and the colors, rather than starting with white, because then sometimes I don't add, don't put enough um, enough darkness so without the contrast it's all kind of washed out but it is true that sometimes I go a little crazy with the black and if I put some transparent paint on top of black that transparent paint will not show as much which was actually the case with uh, the, the marbleizing paints those solvent ones although I generally go for the black background for acrylic I, uh, they sent me black postcards and white postcards and I started I think with the white but then I was very excited for the blacks and the purple didn't show at all on the black the purple just showed up as black because it was so transparent and it didn't have anything to sit on and uh, the paints didn't really mix they just kind of separated and I don't know it's kind of weird but uh, I'll make a video <laughs> eventually edit it do I prefer soft body or full body acrylic? Generally, I go for the full body, but I do have I do have a fluid acrylics too. But I go for the for the um, thick ones. Lately, I've been using a lot of golden open acrylic, which is not as thick as a thick body but it's not as thin as a thin body. So it's something in between and they dry so much slower than regular paint, acrylic paints. In that respect, they're closer to oil in the way they feel, but they're not oil-based. So they're much easier to blend and they're truly opaque. Very, very nice. Um, everything, uh, enjoying the rain and as always enjoying the stream. Oh, thank you. I'm tired of the rain. Um, Today is like the first day that it rains, you know, in a few days. It hasn't rained in the past couple of days. Hmm. Raspberry green tea, I think. <clears throat> okay. I have to whiten the black. I think I'm gonna make just a little bit more white. And then I'm gonna make a gray, cause gray seems to be my, my go-to paint lately color this matches my hair <laughs> all day yesterday oh. ah you know it gets kind of tricky around here if it rains too much because the, um, the drainage is so terrible and it just becomes a uh, genuine swamp it's pretty terrible if you have dogs to take out, oh my god. It takes so long to get them out to do their business and then when you come inside, you have to wipe the paws. It's like five times a day doggy spa, you know? I'm making a mess here because this cup is too small. Not because I put too much paint. <laughs> okay. Let me make a gray a mixture of the white and the black. And I will clean up my cup and my station. <laughs> there we go. Just about, I don't know if about equal parts. Let's just do. A little more white than black and see what color we get because I know generally black is so much stronger than white getting your rain then Jamie <laughs> generally where are you Oklahoma 
I forget where everybody is from. It's terrible. Illinois, that's it. Like the state that rolls off your tongue. It sounds so sweet. Illinois. Sounds like a candy name. Okay, so I have gray and black and white. And then I'm gonna, the rest I have ready mixed paints, so it's great. I'm gonna mix this white paint a little bit more. Outside of Springfield. Nice. Okay, so what colors go with this? What color goes with this? I'm gonna use a little bit of this beautiful, uh, what color do they say it is? Do they say what color it is? Splash. Lovely. You know one thing about this, uh, the pouring medium, I'm used to using Floetrol as my pouring medium, which is also a latex-based um, fluidifier, if you will, for, for, the, uh, for the thick paints. And uh, Floetrol is latex-based, and I have the feeling that pouring mediums are more with, so latex is a much more stretchy and bendable and elastic, flexible, and uh, the pouring medium is much more is more like on the resin base resin um, spectrum, <laughs> and it's much more it dries harder, more brittle, but it's very tacky and and even the paintings that I've poured on two three weeks ago with this pouring with this paint with pouring medium if I put my finger on it it's still tacky it's on a, I don't know what's what's up with that <laughs> well ah good prefer the town you're in now cool it's good that you're happy where you live so then I have this blue color called sea level and I'm gonna put some teal in it and I'm also gonna put some of this green in it it's called Cloverfield why can't they just make you know regular names for this these colors this is chartreuse right some sort of chartreuse so pretentious with their fancy names so I want to create a color palette that that matches this, what I have here. I need to make something a little more green on the greener side too. Maybe, yeah, I think I'm going to put a little bit more green in here. They didn't have, I don't know, I just, I like these paints-ish, but they don't have a a very wide variety of colors but it's okay because you can mix them you know to make whatever color you want see this is already looking way better than that blue okay what else should I put I should put something like uh, gold I see some gold in here uh, maybe I can make some gold paint Here we go. I have some gold from Arteza. Maybe I'll choose one that is opened. But since I can't reach the one that is open, I'll just open this one. <laughs> Regular names aren't as fun. <laughs> they're not. I think they're fun. <laughs> You read my mind. I was just thinking gold or silver. Yes. Mm. I'll 
just mix a little bit and a little cup right here really hope this pouring medium isn't expired <laughs> but they should all interact pretty normally because I'm not mixing pouring medium with Floetrol although I've never done that so I don't know I really love the transformation the way the colors come to life under your eyes before your eyes <laughs> pouring medium is thinner than Floetrol I am seeing have not poured with pouring medium a lot pour with Liquitex pouring medium which is, I think it's a little thicker than this um, full card I think it's full card pouring medium Definitely smells a little stronger than Floetrol. Maybe I want to make, you know what else I want to make? A little greener. You know what I'm going to make. <laughs> I'm going to make this. I'm going to make a greener version of that, maybe with more of this green I'm gonna start with the green and then add the blue to it maybe maybe a touch of uh, black let me see let's see how it what it turns into I want it to be different see yes not that it's green Right? Can you see? Hang on, I lost my info. See? Screen. I turned off my overhead light, otherwise there's gonna be glare on the painting. Alright. This looks like a nice variety of colors. One, two, three. Yeah, this should be enough. I don't want to overwhelm this with color. Copper would look good too, I know. Copper is my favorite. I have some copper here. I may, I may yet mix some copper for a future project too. That is uh, my very favorite combination to do uh, copper with blue or verdigris color. Okay, it's showtime. Okay. see those there because of the, because of my face <laughs> that I can't see on the screen uh, okay let's start I want the outer edge to be black yeah so the first color I'm pouring in is going to be the outer edge I'm not going to be using all of these paints in the bigger cup I can see streaks of pouring medium in there. This is like number one reason of failure. <laughs> Poor failure, not mixing it enough. There we go, 
proper proper mixing. pop in a color. Oh, let's pop in some gold. Or do gold after... do gold after black, yes. Oh! <laughs> the gold totally changes everything. And... Maybe it's not mixed right. I was using the other palette knife and I don't think the other one is, does a very great job at mixing. I do prefer this thicker one. There, that should be good. Okay, let's continue. Should we do... Start adding... adding colors now. Let's do a little bit of gray. Looks pretty cool. Let's do. Should have done some gold. table is tilted. Had some black in that gold. It's okay. Let's add some black right here. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's satisfying to do, too. I'm glad you like it, Jamie. So when I loaded my tray before, because I did uh, tray pours before, but when I loaded bef uh, the first time I did, these tray pours. I was loading the paints in strips like this and kept adding it until the strips uh, became taller. And uh, I got some pretty good results with that too. I got a few really cool pieces with that, but um, but I saw this one and I was so mind blown how cool it came out, and I could not resist. Also, I have the feeling that the people who sent it to me <laughs> were expecting me to demonstrate this or to or to do it, or maybe they just sent it for for inspiration. I don't know. I have the 
feeling that I put too much white. piece of black in, be in the middle yes always start and finish with black that's my motto <laughs> okay let's see hopefully we have enough paint here how often do you paint on top and use the pour as a background does that even work very well yeah yeah it does I uh, paint on top of pores a lot that's actually one of my favorite things to do. In fact, I'm gonna show you right now what I've done before. And because I have some pieces that I really, really love that I did. Hang on, I'll be right back. Right here. I'm gonna get them for you so you can see. Okay, I'm gonna come one by one. Let me adjust the autofocus. Okay. Um, so, do you see the fish in here? The mouth? I see a lot of fish. I see fish and birds and um, weird creatures from the deep. But uh, this is the mouth. This isn't the best one I have. This is the little eye. And I added some uh, glow in the dark paint. I don't know where my flashlight is. But uh, this uh, little eye glows in the dark. And then it's got a little thingy from the uh, from the forehead that also glows in the dark. When I show it sideways, you can see it's a little bit raised. So those uh, glow in the dark areas, but glow. But I really, really love all the textures that happen here and the clean black background. I love this. This is one of the least uh, amazing ones, but I've done this one. This was a, a ring pour that after, so this was kind of the center, but of course afterwards I came with a paintbrush and I painted that eye. So it kind of looks like, um, like a frog, right? Like a frog coming out from the water, like emerging. That's what it's called, emerging. And I really love the iridescent paint that I used. It's really, really nice. Let me show you some others. Some of these actually took um, a, quite a little bit of time to see stuff in them. Sometimes I don't like them right away and then something pops up, but of course you can see the eye. It's like a, it's like a dragon eye. This uh, was an open cup pour, so I just kept pouring paints in an open cup and uh, all those cool metallic cells happened. I really, really love this one. Uh, I don't remember what it's called. Something with eyes. What I like to do is add eyes because I generally see animals. This is absolutely one of my favorites. Uh, the, the running fox. It's like a fox or a raccoon or some sort of... I called it resistance ninja because it's very powerful and you know, just dashing towards you. And all I did here is just add these uh, the shadows and the eyes and the eyebrows and this is one of my favorites and it's uh this was a dutch pour it happens so fast i just uh, put some white and gold and black paint and blew it out really quickly and uh, yeah it's kind of like a fox that's what i see hang on i got more i got more oh one of my favorites is coming <laughs> i always say one of my favorites but oh my god i freaking love this one i think this is called from the depths <laughs> and you can see what i did there you can see what i did there i added the eye and the teeth that's pretty much all i did but my gosh all those webbing and the dendrites it doesn't happen often you know i always try so this was a um a cosmic flip cup which is my favorite technique because I always, not always, 
maybe about 50%, maybe 60%, something really incredible happens in, inside. Maybe less than that. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I really love this one. I added the teeth after a while. Maybe it took me a while to see. And sometimes I have to gather courage to paint on top of them because I'm always afraid of messing it up or not. But this, oh my god. This is one of my favorite. An alien blob in space. <laughs> I'm gonna pass over some not so amazing ones, but of course I think you guys were joining me when I was painting the alien lady. This is uh, this is with a kitchen strainer. This was a kitchen strainer pour. And then when I lifted it up, I turned it, then I tilted it and this amazing head came out. <laughs> took me and it's always tricky to know when to stop adding and to let to let the patterns show enough it's like you know it's tricky but it's worth it okay last one it's not the last one that i have but it's the last one that i'm showing you today because i want to get to pouring but this was a uh, also a cosmic flip cup lifted up the cup and sometimes they look like hearts to me so then i took a palette knife i actually have a video of it it's called the universe loves you or something like that or it's called cosmic love <laughs> i don't know it's in my inspirational playlist but um i took the palette knife and you can see how uh the texture the texture of the canvas it's kind of like leather it's really neat not to mention that those pink arteries there they glow in the dark because i use fluorescent paint well they glow in the black light but this is definitely one of my favorites i think it's called cosmic love all right we can get to painting now <laughs> you missed the alien lady here she is oh you missed when i painted her i think it's in one of the live streams i mean for sure it should be there it's if not it's one of my past lives but anyway, yeah, I really love this one. This was pretty much the same color palette, you know, blue and copper, my go-to. Um. <laughs> Ciao, mama. <laughs> my mom's in the house. Cernia. Lucia Cernia. <laughs> I missed you when you painted her, right? Heart, werewolf, alien plants, and a lot of things I can see in that one. Yeah, there's a lot of cool stuff happening. <sighs> Ciao, mama. Okay, so I have this. Oh. Alright, you guys ready? It's about to go down. The paint I'm in. The paint is about to go down. Well then, <laughs> this is certainly not what I was expecting at all. It is not. I gotta be. I think. I think there's too much paint. I think there is too much paint. And if I, since I don't love it, I'm just gonna pour away a little bit of the top. I don't even know how much I want to pour off the sides. I want to leave some of my underneath design. that little drip there. I think it's charming. Hmm. 
This kind of looks like a like a man's face to me. A very abstract man. For example, the eyes and the nose and the weird mouth here. Very abstract. You gotta have a wild imagination for this stuff. But yeah, look at this color palette. It's very similar. At least I got that. <laughs> Poor until happy. I don't know what to believe about this one, to think about this one. You know what I'll do? Since I'm not 100% happy, I'm just going to tilt it to one side and do that all over again. I like the ribbons. The ribbons add three-dimensionality. I'm just gonna pour on, on the, the background. Since it's not what I was expecting. I'm just gonna ruin it all! <laughs> uh, chrysalis. It will become a beautiful butterfly. <laughs> So I just want to put some uh, background color so that the, the paints will slide a little, glide a little more smoothly. Maybe I'll put black on that, in that corner there. There we go. Alright, let's just tilt it all. Sometimes, you know, when things don't go your way, you just... You just go with the flow and uh, you're not happy until... You're not satisfied until you're happy. And sometimes that doesn't even happen, so, you know. But who knows, who knows? Let's not be negativistic here. I'm already liking it a little bit better. <sighs> Remember to breathe. Very important for a healthy body and mind. I sure hope that I took a picture of that pour because I kind of liked it. <laughs> I did just get a couple sets of canvases for the workshop, so. <laughs> Thank you, Jamie. You know what I think I'm gonna do? If Mama is still here, that's your stage, Mama, Uncle Mayam. Punzele pe care mi le-ai trimis. O să por pe, o să torn pe ele. I just said that I still have the, the canvases that my mom sent me a while ago. I think during the winter holidays and I never poured on top of them because I... I don't know. They're precious because they're for my mom. <laughs> okay. So I wanted to, to make it special and it just never... It never felt special enough for me <laughs> to paint, you know? Let me just uh, do one last thing and torch it. So I do see a bunch of little air bubbles. No, I do like it. It's got some nice colors and the color harmony is not bad. It's very... Ooh, it's neat. It's interesting. Try not to bash it too bad, because sometimes it takes a while to appreciate it. You know, sometimes when you finish your artwork, whether it's whether it's a, a painting, you know, an actual drawing or a painting or a pour, you do it right away. It's kind of like, eh, I did that, whatever. And 
you may not like it, you may even hate it, but sometimes you come back after, after a week or a month and then you see it with different eyes. See, it's pretty neat. I think I would have it vertically like this. Like this. It's, ooh. Maybe that's a dragon. You know, if we do two eyes here, and this is the beak. Or like a weird bird. Me with my birds. Let me just put this away <laughs> and I'll be right back. like to do because I know what y'all are thinking I know I know what you're thinking you're thinking look at all of that waste of paint well guess what I generally pick up my paint uh, number one because I really don't like to have a dirty uh, work place I don't like to pour on top of a messy table and second of all these paints are still going to be good and these colors are pretty and this paint is fresh and besides <laughs> besides just good practice to not be wasteful I and you know sometimes some of these uh, colors the, the leftover poured, poured colors they give you such a um, complex color that you couldn't have blended you know before you could have but this is very complex very rich because it's got a lot of pigments it's got, it's got white and black so it's not all up in your face bright there you go see a nice relatively clean workstation and look at this beautiful paint can use that for uh, for background. <clears throat> I don't know if my mom is still here. Mama, my stage. <laughs> All right, what was I gonna do for the second one? Since this one didn't really come out <laughs> the way I wanted it to come out. But I do like that color that um, and if I don't blend it in if I pour it like that you're gonna get all those swirls and neat stuff happening in here in there okay next canvas let me do the the special one I'm gonna do the special one so I saw this other technique this guy using the uh, the kitchen strainer, the sink strainer, and they made it look like a nautilus, like a, a nautilus shell. And I thought it was pretty neat. So I thought, why don't I try it? Oh, I don't have any more of uh, pins. I'm out of pins. That's okay, I'll just take it from this one. A pour on a pour. <laughs> Let me see what kind of colors I'm gonna use for this one. Probably gonna use something, uh, something the same kind of color palette. That's what I like right now, and I think the Nautilus would look nice with a. Oh, let me have it focus. 
Okay. Let me mix some more of these. Maybe not the green. Maybe I'll darken the green. Well, this color goes fine right out of the tube. It doesn't really need to be mixed. Let's do... Oh, I think I put too much. Too much green, maybe? Let's see. Where's my rag? My trusty rag. Nice color, nice color. It's pretty much the same. It is kind of weird how much thinner the these pore paints are than than the uh, the ones mixed with Floetrol. Okay, I'm gonna mix some copper, as promised. I like this copper from Blix. Blick, Blick, really copper. Oh, I'm actually running out of pouring medium. Copper. Maybe I will make some uh, toned down green this time. mix that chartreuse with some black instead of the blue. Let's see what happens. All for experimentation. This black is terribly clumpy. Yes, I want it to be a little more subtle. A little more uh, swampy green. Yes, 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 yes. Hmm. Okay. Are enough colors because this is a smaller canvas. So I'm gonna make a cup and then pour the cup in here and then hope that I can turn my canvas while I'm working. This person that did it, they had a spinner, but I my spinner is not really. <laughs> Not really premium. Okay, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna pour this paint in a cup like this. It's gonna be easier to pour it out out of a cup than a tray. All right, so let's put the small no I want the middle to be the darker right yeah the middle to be the darker and then going going lighter towards the outside I think so then if, if the middle is darker and the first color I put in will be the darker one That'll be the last color to come out. It sounds confusing, but it's not. It's not confusing at all. But I only want to put the tiniest little bit 
because I don't want it to overpower. And then let me put this fantastic concoction. And then let me put some of this beautiful teal. And then let me break it up with a tad of copper. Not too much. I expect that the copper will create some cells. A little bit more of that. Black. Then let's do some green. The green is nice. Let's do some of this aqua blue. Or aqua, aqua green or aqua blue. And a tad of gray. I don't know if I want to gray in this. I don't think I actually want white in it either. Let's do another bit of this. Let's do some of this mixed paint to tone down everything. And a little bit of copper. And I'm not sure if I'm gonna need to fill up this whole cup. For this pour. I made a friend. Right, yes, I don't know where they're coming from. <laughs> they're not my friend. Because I wouldn't treat my friends like that. <laughs> my gosh. Get away, friend. These are quite small, small rings. Okay, let's do some more copper. While we, while we pour in less, doesn't matter as much, but I still care. I think I'm just gonna finish the healthy dose of this dark teal. And maybe this swampy color. I said I want to fill it and I filled it. Goes to show. Just goes to show. Let me take it a little closer. Alright, I really hope that I can spin this. I'm gonna have to do multiple things. Okay, big breath, maybe a sip of tea for courage. <sighs> Ants are terrible this time of year. I know, they're terrible here too. They found a plant uh, that had some sort of insect and they parasitized it, it's terrible. Like I said, it, this works so much better with a spinner. <sighs> but I'm not giving up. the black coming out. I should have used more black. I, I never say that. <laughs> I rarely say it. I should have used more black. But I think that's it. I don't know if it happened. If what I wanted to happen happened. But let's just put the background color in. I think the background color will be black straight out of the tube. No worries. Don't even trip, dog. I do, <laughs> I do need one of those. I, I have one, it's just too big and clunky. And uh, just didn't take it out. 
because of laziness. It's terrible. Lifting it, I'm lifting it and turning it while I lift. Yeah. All right, all right, I don't know. <laughs> Let's tilt it. Well, it's definitely not what I was expecting, definitely not what I was going for. Um, just goes to show. you don't get things right the first time sometimes or who knows maybe it goes to show not to judge too too quickly sometimes I'm going for one effect and what comes out is even better it's an eye just needs more black in the center <laughs> maybe and now it's a, it's an Indian with a headdress You know what it is, I'm just used to thicker paints. That is the real reason. I'm used to thicker paints with Floetrol and uh, pouring medium is just a little alien to me. I think... Uh, I think that a Dutch pour would be cool with these paints because these paints are very thin. Oh my! Okay. Now I see another alien. <laughs> Do you see it? Of course you see it. It's right there, just like the other one. Now what do I do? Now what do I do to uh, Well, I didn't I didn't want to do that. <laughs> yes, I see the alien. Just want to cover the edges. I think I'm just going to leave that. I'm afraid that if I tilt it, it's gonna lose the shape. And I don't want it to lose the shape. I really like that though. See how things happen. And you go for something and something else happens, which might be even, might, might be even more exciting. Love the black on the edge and speckle for stars. Hang on, do you guys see okay? to zoom out because you can't see the whole picture these paints are very sticky by the third pour I need to change my gloves because everything sticks to them is terrible now you can see the whole picture speckles for stars let's do that can do that now or, or later. I want this edge to be a little less uh, straight, you know? I want it to kind of be part of the design.
You feel a little bit like Bob Ross. Yes, happy accidents all the time. It's always happy accidents. That's a little better. I want this thing to kind of seep into the black a little bit. Looks a little more mysterious. But it's got to be done really, really softly. There. Okay. Okay. <laughs> now I have a, f a project for a future live stream. When this dries. Oh my god, this is pouring medium. It's going to take forever for it not to be tacky. Oh well. Um, I'm not gonna make the stars right now because I'm afraid I'm gonna spill all, all over the place but I'll, I'll put them in once everything is dry and I can control the paint better <laughs> all right let me put this away I love you alien this will be the other aliens Ugh. sibling or or baby. Let me just take it up a little bit so you can see. Pretty cool, right? I definitely am liking the vibe of this. I am digging this. I'll be right back. Let me just put this away. are we doing today mm. oh let me clean real quick real quick and then we can you know what I think I'm gonna do I had an amazing fun with a little bit of silicone I did a flip cup which is my favorite technique let me do a flip cup without silicone first and then I'll do a flip cup with silicone and then you can see how much fun flip cups are and they're the easiest thing and what's the most exciting thing about flip cups is that I have no idea what's gonna happen so I have no expectations and that's what makes them interesting because you don't have high hopes and then you're not dissatisfied most of the time well sometimes you know I mean if you're that kind of person, everything can be satisfying. <laughs> and sometimes I'm unhappy with my flip cups. But um, it's okay, because you know what? There's not a lot of effort in flip cups. And you can do it, and it's kind of like, now those are kind of like happy accidents. Let me just tidy up just real quick. I'm not gonna use a uh, metallic paints in this flip cup not in the one without silicone okay so see this is messy now <laughs> it's messy now uh, this one is going to be really cool when you finish it I know I can't wait can't wait to finish it ah uh, this Okay. <sighs> what am I doing? Black. Black. Always black. Black and teal and of course purple. Maybe I took the pins out of the other one. Purple. I think I'm gonna add a touch of red to that purple. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of blue to the purple. And then I can use blue too. Okay, that's a good, that's a good color combination. 
always put this teal in my recipes. And then let's do some nice color mixing. The stickiness would drive me crazy. Yeah, it's a little annoying. I might change gloves soon. Last time when I poured, let me, uh, let me show you what I said. What I poured the last time when I poured with these. So what I like about the pores with the acrylic pouring instead of the float roll is that they dry shiny but they're still sticky even after two weeks three weeks I don't even know probably two weeks when I got these but that was so uh, no silicone and then let me show you this these cool silicone ones I was mind blown actually by these they're pretty cool that they're shiny and there's so much there's so many cool little cells there <laughs> I like it then I have another one that is it's got some huge cells with these huge cells the only thing is that I like I like the patterns and the textures and I do really like the colors but I don't see much except for now when I look at the camera maybe maybe these two could be eyes maybe it's like a ghost <laughs> but I like the I like the little cells look very playful okay let me add a touch of red in this <sighs> and then I'm gonna make another purple and then in this one I'm gonna add a little bit of blue to it all right and let's see what colors they make I added a little more a little more purple or a little more red than I wanted to but it's okay it's okay it's okay I'm not even cleaning my spatula it's okay <laughs> it's okay wow this is violet Vava violet Vava lavender I love mixing paints I think it's so magical to mix two boring colors and make another cool color <laughs> um, okay. so I have this and I have the black and maybe I add some blue is it should I put blue with this color palette or green or I can make a combination again. I think that's what I'm going to do. Right? Right? <laughs> Say it fast. Say it fast. Say it in the chat. <laughs> blue? Okay. Just plain blue? Okay. Maybe I'll, I'll put the blue in here so that it captures just a little bit of that teal but it's still blue. Okay. I want my blue to be a little more sophisticated. <laughs> it's your world, Laura. We're just here for the ride. But you're the artist. <laughs> well, now. Everybody gets to vote. You know, voting colors. And I'd like you guys to give your opinion, too. And it's more fun when you don't have to do make decisions, you know. <laughs> So much better when you don't have to make a decision okay I need one more I think I'm gonna use white for my for my other color because I generally yeah a white would kind of bring out the sparkles bring out the uh, the stars although I don't know how many stars you can make with pouring medium Floetrol does stars pouring medium not so much but it's okay okay I need a cup and now I'm gonna be pouring my paints in let me change my gloves it's uh, Jamie you're right it's annoying. <laughs> it's annoying where are my gloves
think I hid my gloves away from me. Right there. I had stuff on top of them. The life of a small studio. I like this song. bit of black on the bottom let's do let's just go right into the bright color afterwards actually I don't need to pour it like that what am I doing this is just chaotic pouring however you want if I pour it from a smaller distance then you see the paint just laying on top that'll make a really nice uh, transparent uh, surface it's gonna be a lot more milky and and soft and if I pour it from the up distance that color is gonna go deep inside everything I don't know about this red maybe I shouldn't have used it it up with a healthy dose of black that goes all whoop, all in and out of everything <laughs> open the blinds for your plants we don't need light, but the plants do. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna take you a little closer because what's gonna, what's about to happen is gonna be pretty magical. I love what's about to happen. Okay, you guys ready? You guys ready? Are you ready? Calder, sing it along. Get some ready. Are you ready? No, I'm not ready. <laughs> Uh, you have to know what it is. Calder, tell me you remember. Are you still here? <laughs> is your report ready? No, it's not ready. You should have your fish do it. He could only say mama. <laughs> oh. We've introduced better off Ted to my daughter. She's highly amused. She loves Better Off Ted. Even showing her the, the naughty bits too. <laughs> That's good parenting, right? Preparing her for a world full of uh, messed up to adulthood. At this point, you can't hide it away anymore. It's like, uh, even curse words you know, slip easier at this age without as much um, concern. Okay, the magic, my friends, the magic is about to happen. I have a pin, pin. I'm gonna prick the cup. See how perfect, it's right there. I should hear the questions. <laughs> I've been getting from my kids. Oh boy. And then I lift off the pin and <coughs> Okay, I think it's sad too much. Okay, here we go It's like magic There's so much red <laughs> It's okay. I don't usually use red so this is That red is strong Maybe I'll do a black and red one next mm. I like black and red combinations. I did uh, one black and red. It turned out really nice. 
see this is very soft you don't get those webbing you know like in the fish i mean we'll see when we when we open it but i expect there to not be a lot of dendrites and cells happening what questions do, you, do your kids ask jamie i'm very curious i want to hear your kids are younger a little younger But it's nice when they actually ask you and don't Google it. <sighs> okay, now it's slowed down, so I'm gonna lift it and it's gonna be you. Oh, wow. There's something interesting happening in there, kinda. <laughs> Look at those pew pew pew. That's... Okay, let's torch it real quick. Try not to get too uh, attached and excited because it's gonna change a lot as it as I tilt it off what is a dildo oh my gosh wow where did I even hear about that tiktok <laughs> a dildo that's funny Making that very soft edge there. I'm trying not to lose it. But I want that paint to go over just a little bit. Alright. Ooh, I like that. <sighs> not a big fan of what's happening right there in the middle, in the red, where it looks very uneventful, very empty but oh my gosh that looked like a splash <laughs> being a pervert oh my gosh oh sex ad I don't know I think uh, I'm not gonna opinionate. My opinions are so <laughs> sad. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if they're right. I don't know why they're teaching kids so early or what they're teaching them or what the heck, but it just seems like the whole world is very focused on the sex thing so much and so early in my opinion i think it's a bit early but what do i know i think maybe nowadays kids uh, develop faster but maybe it's because it's being pushed i don't know what to think what i think is that in my time <laughs> i don't know maybe maybe i'm wrong maybe i'm seeing it with different eyes now i don't know I can say is that my daughter knows way more than I did at her age and that makes me uncomfortable <laughs> that makes me uncomfortable oh this is very interesting it's like a space snail or something I'm gonna lift it up a little bit I really like that I don't want to lose that I don't know. I like it. I can't decide which way it should be yet. But my goodness, look at all of those interesting things happening. I'll take it up a little bit. <laughs> we keep telling them they're grounded forever as long as they finish high school before having kids. Oh. <laughs> when they ask me, I will be honest and tell them. I know. Just Take it 
the other way so you can see that's my favorite part that black and uh, cloudy thing there and also the thing in the middle I think that's pretty interesting the colors I love these colors right here not a big fan of that thing there and I don't even know should I change it should I change it because I don't like it maybe I should change it because I don't like it you like it with the red <laughs> It was easy when they were little, when they were younger and would ask where babies came from, I'll just say from mommy's tummy and leave it at that. Ha ha ha, from mommy's tummy. <laughs> at least you weren't one of those deceptive ones with the, with the crane or the, with the, what else do people say? The, the stork, that's it, the <laughs> stork. Ay. Or the... Easter Bunny. <laughs> All right, let me just uh, touch up the sides. I've got some sides that don't have any paint on them. pink on this side. Ooh. See, it's so easy. Oh, I just messed it up. <laughs> not too bad, not too bad. Hey, Lewis! I'm trying to decide what I see in this one. Lewis, what do you see in this one? Some sort of martyr? Oceanic murder scene. <laughs> Blood in the ocean. <laughs> Blood in the water. Don't ask me not to sing. I know not to sing, but sometimes it just... There we go. All right, let me take it away. What you doing, Louis? What are you doing today? You see anything? It's like a mouth, actually. If I look at the camera, oh my gosh, look at that. That's the lips, the upper lips, and then the, the tongue, right? That could be a tongue. That could be, and look, the teeth right there, like a... Uh, <laughs> a little bit. Cosmic mouth. Or if it's like this, I don't really see anything. Oh, maybe? No. Working on the statue still life video script and outline. Watching videos for ideas, really? You don't have ideas, Louis? I'll be right back. Let me just put this away. Okay. Yeah, I should probably look up video ideas. I watched the... Uh, What's his name? The French guy today. I watched uh, some of his videos. Mm. Where am I putting this paint in? I need cups. Ah, here we go. I got cups. <laughs> Um, I have plenty of ideas, but it's good to watch other still life videos to learn or remind me of things, right? I also want to see their format and note what I like and dislike, how can I do better and so on. It's 
That's really smart, Louis. That's very wise. How much smarter I am than they are, and so on. Right. That's why I watch videos too, to make me feel better about my smartness. And better grammar and English ink than they do. I think I've smashed all of those words just, <laughs> just the right way. All right, what shall I do now? Oh wow, I've been, I've been on for like almost two hours. I was except, expecting this to be an hour, an hour stream. I think I'll just do one more, do one more, and then call it. Cause uh, I'm getting sticky, <laughs> getting sticky, and my mat is getting dirty. want to be a good resource for people and I think I can do that better if I see what is out there yeah I did start at 11 I know right how I think we lost some time I think those alien stuff just stole some time all right one last one last and I'll go one last <laughs> I'll do it on this one should I mess up this one or should I mess this one? Uh, I'll mess up this one. Mess it up. Okay. We're gonna do another flip cup, but this time with, with silicone. I have some treadmill silicone over here. And let's see what colors we're gonna use. Let's use some copper. Let's use some of this green. We're gonna use leftovers. And then, of course, we're gonna use some teal because that's the go-to. <laughs> now the copper should do cells on its own, but with this paint is kind of unpredictable to know what's gonna happen maybe I'll use this yeah why not let's use this little bit of leftover bluish purple paint I'm leftover from that one <sighs> where was red red maybe maybe mixing some colors purple Purple and red? Yeah, let's let's add this red to the purple. I don't know if I'm gonna mix it. I'm gonna use it for this, but just let's put that in there. <laughs> this is how my brain works. It's kind of like a step-by-step -step process of seeing. Oh, I like that. It's like a very grayed out purple. That's nice. This is a very chaotic. color color theme got some green copper maybe too much there's too much happening but you know what let's just go for it anyway what doesn't belong the purple we'll see what happens Okay, I have, let me put some silicone, I'm gonna put some silicone in the, this aqua, oh, that was a lot of silicone. You know what's bothering me, this green, I want it to be a little bluish, let me add some blue to it. I think I will like it better if it's bluish, like a teal. Yes, that's better. 
and uh, there's a lot of silicone in this. I'm just gonna mix it a very little bit. I don't wanna mix a whole lot, just like two stirs. And I'm gonna put some silicone in the green too. Just going for like one or two drops. One, two, okay. All right. Let's load the cup. And what? Yeah, let's start with black. Always do black black let's do some of this copper why not copper goes with purple right i mean why not putting some of this green just the whole thing putting some of this This is one of those leftover meals that you make with all the other ingredients. Mm. Let's do some more black. <laughs> leftover meal. All right. Let's do that. Let's just flip it and let's see what be the background just a little bit of background to make the paint flow a little easier on the canvas i put a link in the discord lewis that i'll be going live in five minutes i set it at 10 55 you know, check your Discord. But I understand. When you're in the work zone, it's good to take advantage of that. Not get distracted, because oh my god, everything is a distraction. It's terrible. I mean, I already like it. <laughs> I'm gonna like it like this. tacky so for this one I'm not going to prick it I only have notifications on because I have so many notifications ah don't have right I turn on my do not disturb on often too all right just lift it Woo! There needs to be a feature where you can be more fully customized notifications is too broad. I, I know, I agree. True, true. All right, I'm gonna torch first because I noticed the number two thing that I like about the spin drip pour paints is that when you use silicone, it makes the cell so much more fantastic and spectacular than the flow troll maybe because the paint is thinner maybe that's it but check out these cells coming to life as i torch it not a lot of cells but hang on hang on <laughs> thanks Lewis. uh hang on i'm gonna tilt it you can yes 
See, the cells are happening. They're, they're happening. Color looks like a bruise. I love it. If I was watching this on my phone, I would, I would probably tilt my phone every which way. copper not sold on the on the turquoise part but um, I mean on the aqua teal I think a lot of that is gonna change when I torch it so let's very excited to do that I'm seeing a little fish in here you see its little eye in the mouth <laughs> I'm obsessed it's a very little fish a little fish in a big, in a big pond. Take a little closer so you can see. Oh, check out, check out the, uh, the cells. Oh, look at them! Look at them coming out. There's too much paint in here. There's too much of the trans. Uh, too thick. The layer of paint, and it will not create anything. And just tilt a little bit more off. There we go. This could be like a weird unicorn creature. those days I think it's one of those days where I don't like anything
Okay, now the cells are appearing because it, the layers are thinner. Maybe. That's a lot of torching for not a lot of cells. You know how I save a pour? Let me show you how I save a pour. <laughs> when I'm not happy with anything, I I swipe. I just find a suitable swiping device. All right, and this bag is, maybe I'll swipe this way. I could, I could. I could that Looking for a bag that is suitable for swiping. This, yes, this is good. Okay. When I don't like a swipe, this is what I do to uh, save it or just make it so that I like it, whatever. I take, I take some color that I'm gonna swipe with and then I add some silicone to it. Since today I seem to be very picky and unhappy with everything. Okay, one, two, ah, a lot of drops. A lot of drops. Just mix it up a little bit. And then, should I swipe this way, or this way, or this way? Shouldn't really matter. Well, yeah, I do want, I do want this. And now I see a, <coughs> I'm sorry. I see a little creature here with its mouth open and one broken tooth or something that is like a little candy and it's got a third eye and these are the eyes. That's kind of funny. Let's kill it. Let's disappear it. <laughs> okay. You guys are gonna see this a little later. The goggles are in the middle looking to the top left. Is that what you said? I'm sorry, Calder, this is a little late. <laughs> oh. It's a little late. There's like a delay. About, I don't know, about 10 seconds, 15 seconds delay. But so. Here we go. Cells, here we come. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. Okay, I got my little baggie here. Trying to make contact with the whole thing. And then just, yeah, why not? Let's. Drag it in waves. <sighs> what is happening with the bubbles today? With the cells, they just... There we go. When I say this, pain makes the best cells, and then it betrays me like that? That's not right. But here they come, here they come. Little happy cells. Let's 
See, maybe that was beginner's luck, what I did the first, the first pours with the big cells. Maybe they were. <laughs> oh. Sorry, Jamie, I couldn't hear your thoughts. My mind was were too loud. I think so. I think they look pretty neat and they show through. Since I have a lot of these, a lot of these paint things that, uh, you know, they, they have nice uh, textures, but they don't really, you know, blow me up, <laughs> blow me up. They don't really blow my mind as much as the ones that I can turn into, into animals. I mean, they're, they're nice and neat, and I think they would make really cool uh, notebook covers. So I think I might even either do that make some cut them cut them from the frame and make either uh you know not uh, journal covers or or wallets or little tiny purses or what else can i make with painted canvas you know uh, so yeah i think that would be a nice way to use them uh, and you know make them make them usable so that was all. That was all for today, my dears. And uh, I thank you very much for joining me today. And uh, have a wonderful weekend. And I'll see you next Friday, I think. Yeah, next Friday. The following Friday I will not be in because I'm going to be on vacation. But um, I'll see you guys next Friday. Have a great weekend and I'm really glad you enjoyed it. Toodaloo! Tap tap for now!